this is my gaming room or my man cave. It's where I come to relax when I'm not at work. It's not very well lit, but it's supposed to be like that so that it's nice and relaxing. And it is very nice and relaxing. Look. See, it's very nice. I like it anyway. What I'm going to do today, first of all, I'm going to move this out of the way. Oops. See, there's this. There you go. There's a... What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my gaming room into a space station. And I'm not going to talk because this headset, which is a Quest 3, at the moment is really shit at recording. So if I try and record it, the sound of the game is much louder than the sound of my voice. So you can't hear me anyway, which is usually a good thing. That's me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm wearing a Quest 3 and we're going to play and record this. Watch, it's brilliant. I'm going to shut up in a minute. Not yet. Ooh. I don't want to use arm tracking. I'll use the controllers. I like the controllers. Can you see the controllers in the arm there? Okay. I'm going to choose that wall. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. One, two, three. This is Natalie Vita. It is February 2nd, 1993. <clears throat> this is a message for future worlds and faraway beings. Maybe you are one of them. We search for life in lands near and far. Beyond Earth, up there in the heavens, await alien worlds. I've traveled the universe through the eyes of our telescopes, observed distant stars, planets, and moons without ever touching them. But one day, we won't just stare at these places from afar and wonder. One day we will walk on other worlds. Welcome to the Space Travel Bureau, your ticket to the stars. At Astra, exploration begins here. Welcome aboard. The entire universe awaits. Hi, I'm Nori, your non-organic robotic intelligence. I'll show you how everything works. Follow me. Navigate the solar system by selecting your destination on the control panel.
85. Field notes. Gas giants. Subject, Jupiter. Your teleporter is now active. Stand beneath it to be transported to the planet. Jupiter's auroras are the most powerful in the solar system. Lava projected into the atmosphere from the nearby moon Io falls into Jupiter's orbit and transforms into the electrically charged material that creates these auroras. Hidden on this planet are other wonders that you cannot see. Raise and lower your hand in front of your eyes to activate your augmented binoculars. Gaze at the chemical element to identify it. Scientists study light to learn about the cosmos, a process called spectroscopy that reveals the gases and chemicals that are invisible to our eyes. Aim your right hand towards the chemical element to scan it. Close your hand to collect it. There's more to find. Continue searching the planet to uncover its signature elements. We uncover chemical elements that could lead us to discover the presence of life. when the shape is full. You found another signature element. The tracker on your right hand will illuminate each time you uncover one. Keep searching for elements hidden around you on this planet. your lab. Touch the glowing button on the left of the control panel. This is the Cosmic Laboratory, a place to analyze and wonder. In here, you can uncover the chemical fingerprint of each world that you'll visit, known as a fragment. Assemble the samples you just found to create Jupiter's fragment.
These alien worlds hold clues to the universe's deepest mystery. Is there life beyond Earth? We search for life that resembles our own, reliant on liquid water, chemistry, and energy. There are six ingredients essential to the building blocks of life. These are the clues that scientists seek. They remain hidden amongst these distant worlds, waiting for you to uncover them. We must investigate the planets and moons with these signs of life. It is up to you to find them. A new destination awaits. Select it on your control panel to continue your search. July 13, 2006. Field notes. Saturn's largest moon. Subject. Titan. One hundred and fifty moons are found in our solar system, but this alien world most closely resembles Earth. Continue your search for the key ingredients of life hidden on this moon. In 2005, Huygens was the first man-made probe to land on a celestial body in the solar system. He made a historic journey as it plunged into Titan's surface. It was designed to uncover the chemicals present in Titan's atmosphere. Until this mission, little was known about the surface of this moon. Return to your spaceship to analyze your samples. Titan resembles the earliest version of Earth. It is the key to understanding the mystery of what essential ingredients were necessary to form life on our own planet. Today, Titan gives us a window into unlocking our distant past. Discovery awaits back on Jupiter's moon, Europa.
August 23rd, 1998. Field notes, subject, Europa. Your teleporter is now active. The dark moon of Jupiter. This is Europa. Fifteen miles of ice covers this moon's surface, but what matters is what's underneath. Hidden beneath its icy crust, Europa is an ocean world. In the search for life, we follow the water. Life on the surface of Europa could not survive, blasted by radiation from Jupiter. But this energy could spark life in an ocean below the surface. Analyzing the chemicals from the hydrothermal vents gives us clues that life on Europa could exist beneath the ice. There's one last key ingredient to uncover.
June 14, 2023. <coughs> Field notes. Subject, Enceladus. Your teleporter is now active. Like Europa, Enceladus also hosts a hidden ocean, but this moon is different than the rest. Icy water particles and gas surge from Enceladus's hidden ocean at velocities of 800 miles per hour. These streams come from warm fractures in the moon's crust that scientists call tiger strips. Return to your spaceship to analyze your samples. Return to your spaceship to analyze your samples. This is the first time phosphorus has been detected in an ocean beyond Earth. Phosphorus combines with sugars to create the skeleton for DNA. Enceladus is the first known moon to contain all the key ingredients required for life. Unfortunately, it might not be enough for life to subsist. As we find the ingredients for life in our own solar system, we look out further into the universe for these same signs. Maybe there is life beyond us. Light years away, distant lands beckon, ones that look like our own. In the search for life, 
We must continue to look beyond our solar system. stellar space. In 1977, we sent a space probe known as Voyager 1 on a mission to the stars. along with it, a 12-inch phonograph containing images and sounds that capture Earth. This is the golden record. April 25th, 2012. Field notes, subject, the golden record. We sent the golden record out to the stars so that distant civilizations could one day discover life. Life as we know it is a self-sustaining chemical system that self-produces with variations. Two twisted strands, alternating sugar and phosphate. Life is DNA. Biology composed by the same chemistry would be life as we understand it. But how will other life in the universe reveal itself to us? Search for worlds like our own. 